Hello and welcome again. Uh, today I wanted to do another book review and sorry I haven't put on one up in a while. I have been reading but I just have uh, school and work and working on my art so it, it consumes a lot of my life and then you know by the time I get home most days I'm too tired to do a video so but today we're gonna catch up and I'm gonna put up three videos for the past three books that I've read uh, today the, we'll start uh, with uh, Mishu Kaku's uh, Parallel Worlds. This book was great. Um, if you read The Elegant Universe, go to this one. You know, this one was great as well. Uh, it's a bit different than The Elegant Universe. But this book, like, it almost borders on science fiction that some of the stuff is just like, are you serious? Do scientists actually sit and think about this? But it... And opened up a lot of things that, you know, I had still had questions about from The Elegant Universe. Because The Elegant Universe is great. I love that book. But um, he tries to keep it in, you know, more practical terms and doesn't get too much into, you know, the the possibilities. You know, he, um, he tries to keep it grounded on, like, what they know for certain or what they suspect to be true. But Parallel Worlds goes into like all different possibilities. It even talks about like some of the failed theories that they've already disproven. But you know, in science, that happens a lot. You know, they disapprove a theory, then decades later they bring it back and it gets reinvented. That's what happened to string theory. Um, so <clears throat> this book was amazing, though. I mean, there were so many cool things in this book. Just the idea about you know, he really seriously goes into considering what it takes to create a wormhole to go into another universe or another dimension. And that, to me, is just mind-boggling and amazing, and it was so cool. I mean, I, I was reading this book, and I actually thought, I was like, wow, they might actually be able to do it. They might actually be able to transmit information, or even like a spaceship or whatever, to another universe or another dimension. And he really goes into the possibilities more on this in this book than like um, you know Brian Greene's Elegant Universe, but this book was great. It was so cool. Uh, and the one thing that um, I had already known about Mishu Kaku's writing is he likes to um, he likes to use the I don't know exactly what he calls it, but uh, you know the scale of civilizations. You know, type zero, type one, type two, type three civilizations. And he's saying that we're at about 0.7, you know, for civilization numbering. Whereas, like, type 1, you know, they get into harnessing the power of the Earth. They no longer have to use fossil fuels. And they're able to just, you know, get down. Come on, you're making a mess here. But, uh, you know, just, you know, he goes into his, you know, the theory that's in some of his other books. You know, it's in Visions and, you know, some of his other stuff. But, you know, this idea about the type civilizations, which I think is, you know, a great way to kind of, you know, focus our society about these type of things. Because, I mean, really, you know, you have type 1, type 2, type 3, and we're 0 .7. 0 .7, you know, that's not even type 1. And he's theorizing that, like, even, like, a lot, that there is probably life out in the universe, but a lot of, like, sentient species might you know, destroy themselves before they get to a type 1 civilization, you know, with nuclear weapons and, you know, biological weapons and all those type of things, which is right where we are today. And this this book was great, though, too. He even went into, like, you know, what what would happen, you know, millions of years in the future when our, our universe cools down to absolute zero, you know, because I think right now it's at 2.7. They said that the temperature of uh, the universe is the, you know, the average te temperature of the universe. And he says, like, from the from the creation of the universe or the Big Bang, whatever you want to call it, um, like, that the universe has been continually cooling. And that he thinks eventually, you know, millions of years in the future, it's going to get to zero. And then when it's zero, like, it's going to be so cold that nothing will be able to move. Or if it does move, it, it's going to move extremely, extremely slow. And so what are we going to do, you know, millions, in the millions of years in the future when we want to still survive? 
It's like, we'll have to find a way to go to some of these other universes. And he actually theorizes about it, about what you can do. And I thought that was really cool. There was a part where he's talking about, you know, maybe black holes, like the center of black holes, like go into another universe. And, you know, you could you could shoot information or nanobots through the black hole. And it would go back out through the other side to a white hole. <coughs> Excuse me. And then... You know, these nanobots would go through the black hole and go to this other universe, go find raw materials there, and then, you know, construct more nanobots from the raw materials and then make them in nanobots, construct factories, and then the factories construct, you know, whatever to we need to replicate life in this other universe. Because he was thinking, like, you know, it's it seems possible that they might be able to open a wormhole, but that it's going to be at, like, an atomic or subatomic level, and then, so, I mean, you can't just have a spaceship go through there. So, he, he seriously thinks about, like, what we would do in those situations, which I thought was great, and it, it was so cool. Uh, I can't talk enough about this book, but I'm going to try and, you know, keep this book review short, but... There were, there were a lot of things that weren't covered in the Elegant Universe that are covered in here. I mean, there are a lot of things that are covered. I mean, if, if you already are somewhat familiar with, you know, string theory and, you know, theoretical physics and how it's going and, you know, the, the whole thing about, the, you know, the theory of relativity and, you know, the search for the theory of everything, you can probably skip over part one. But I read it, you know, just to, you know, get a refresher on these type of things. But this book was great. You know, the last the last part, I, I kept reading over and over again. And, you know, it's it's so cool how, like, a lot of a lot of entertainment now is even getting into, like, these ideas of theoretical physics. And I was just watching, uh, like, this new teaser for um, the TV show Lost. If anybody watches that, <clears throat> like, it has the, uh, the guy from the Dharma Initiative who always does the training films for it. And he was talking about how, like, one of the stations creates kind of a Casimir effect. And it's like they were um, saying that, like, well, the Casimir effect, like, when you put two plates on there and they're electrically charged or whatever, and it creates negative energy, and it's possibly that this negative energy is what you use to create wormholes. So I think, you know, that's where these people in Lost are getting their whole ideas, is actually from things like this, parallel worlds, parallel dimensions, parallel universes. They could be right here. Could be another dimension, you know, the fifth dimension or whatever. And I'm trying to get to it, but I can't just because I'm trapped in these, you know, three spatial dimensions and time. So I, you know, any fan of theoretical physics, go and pick up his stuff. Um, I don't know. I think I think Brian Greene's writing style is maybe a little more uh, attainable, a little easier to grasp. But I'd say if you if you read the Elegant Universe or any of these or the Nutshell in the Universe even too, um, you know if you read Stephen you know some of the Stephen Hawking stuff, I would move on to this book. Um, it's going to get you more interested in it, more involved. So pick up Parallel Worlds. Check out my next video. It'll be uh, another book review. We'll do uh, two more.